Hey guys, Matt, Iron Trap Garage. Today, what we're gonna work on is tearing apart this sad old 32 Ford BB big truck. Uh, we're gonna tear this thing down and save any of the parts that are savable. And uh, we'll kind of show you along the way why uh, I bought this, which may seem crazy to some people, but there are some actual good parts on this and some stuff that's really hard to find. So we're gonna dig through this, show you what we can find, and kind of show you what is quote unquote salvageable. I use that word loosely. There's the crank. <laughs> That's cool. The, for the through the grill. Got the original jack there. That's pretty cool too. Yeah. Just need to put it in a Ashland manufacturing company. Just have to put it in a bath of molasses for about two years. <laughs> So the goal of this thing is to get it apart quickly and uh, make our lives a little easier. So we're just rough cutting everything apart to get the stuff we need, which is basically from the cow board. So we got blocks under here. One of our cuts is here, another one right here, uh, just so we can get the steering box and the cow out in one, one shot with the, that frame rail section. Um, that should allow us to kind of separate things. So we're gonna keep making cuts and taking frame parts with us as we go. So, we're we'll gonna fire up the plasma and start making some cuts. That's free. 
<laughs> I said, you probably want to make your bottom cuts first. Yeah, I figured that out as I was cutting it. came together. That's three. It just pinched it, so we'll have to probably... Well, I think once we cut the other side, this whole front end is it's gonna move. Yeah. Alright, so we got the uh, the 32 BB truck all cut apart. Basically, what we did is just tried to cut it into the major uh, large pieces or chunks that we're going to save, and uh, then we can carefully take everything apart and uh, keep the stuff that's really good. Uh, we weren't too worried about the frame because it's a big, heavy, uh, like three quarter, one ton truck. So we just plasma cut the frame, used the Eastwood VersaCut 60, and we just blew through everything. Super easy. Now that we have that done, I can basically put it on the workbench and carefully 
uh, you know, break or cut all the old rusty bolts and we can get all these good usable parts uh, taken apart, get the what I don't need sold off to uh, somebody else and uh, keep the things I do need. So the stuff that was really important that we tried to save from this, number one was the firewall uh, on these 32 trucks, whether it's a one ton truck or it's a half ton truck, they actually have the same firewall as a car. So on 32 only, the, even though 33, 34 looks the same, 32, the, the firewall is the, is the same as a car, so they're actually quite valuable. So I'm gonna actually extract the firewall, put it in my stash, so someday when I find that super cheap barn find 32 three-window coupe with no firewall, I got one. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna put that aside. So the other things that are good, the uh, steering wheel and the steering column drop are quite valuable for 32s, especially the column drop. Uh, is, is quite valuable because it's basically the same as a car. Uh, the 32 truck dash, uh, even though it's pitted, is, is worth a little bit of money. That's probably worth like 75 or 100 bucks even when it's pitted. Steering box is probably worth like 200, 250. Steering drop can be worth 150 to 250 depending on how pitted it is. Um, and then we have the wall hanger grill, which is, uh, I'm gonna hang it either inside or outside here somewhere, I don't know. Radiator is a good core that somebody can have uh, either recorded or repaired. Uh, it's actually, the tanks are quite solid on it, so I'm gonna probably just pass that on to somebody else. Uh, and then the back, the back section of the cab is actually decent, believe it or not. The bottom 10 inches or eight inches that are always rotten is rotten on it, but the actual center section where it has all of the stampings that are very difficult to make are actually decent on it. So that'll be good to pass on to somebody that's redoing a 32 truck. They can have that back section uh, and they can buy that affordably and uh, put another truck together. So, And then the last thing that we saved was the uh, 32B four-cylinder engine. Uh, the engine, because it's all sealed up, we actually checked the oil in it and it has decent oil, believe it or not, and it wasn't full of water. So uh, I think it's probably going to be a good core for somebody to rebuild. So I'm probably just going to pass that thing on to somebody else that wants to be, build a B four-cylinder. But these are all good parts. The most important thing was it was sitting in the woods rotting and now it's actually something that is going to be passed on, used in vehicles, and isn't going to go to the uh, scrap heaven in the sky. So that's all I have for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, watching us cut apart old rusty shit. And uh, as always, we do videos on Tuesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. If you haven't, definitely subscribe and uh, drop us a comment down below. Uh, what do you think is the best part off of this 32BB? Thanks guys, catch you later.